In this tutorial, I will show you how editing your origin graph is very easy. Any graph element can be selected and with its associated dialog, the properties modified. I have a sample project open with a simple scatter graph. The first thing I'm going to do is show you how to add a layer title. I simply right click inside the layer and choose Add Modify Layer Title. I can then begin typing to change the text. If I wish, I can bold the text and then click outside when I'm done. The layer itself can be resized graphically by dragging the sizing handles. To do this, I click inside the layer, which selects the layer frame and gives me the eight anchor points. I can use any one of these to resize the layer itself. When holding down the control key, the aspect ratio will be maintained. If I wish to get more accurate, I just double click inside the layer, the plot details dialog opens to the layer graph element. I can then go to the size speed tab and modify the layer area units. Let's continue customizing the graph. I'll now show you how to change the color of a data plot. I left click on one of the data points, which selects the entire data plot. I then use the style toolbar to change the color. If I wish to modify the scale or any properties of the axes themselves, I double click on the axis, the appropriate dialog opens, on the Scale tab, I can modify the number of major ticks if I wish, changing this value to 5. If I change the selection to Vertical, notice that the name of the dialog updates to Y axis. I can then modify the From and To value of this scale as well, setting the number of major ticks to 11. Now to turn on the top x-axis and the right y-axis, I go to the Title and Format tab, choose the top selection, and check the Show Axis and Ticks checkbox. Repeat that for the right y-axis. Let's make one more update here. I'll select the text and just use the arrow key on the keyboard to shift it up a bit. Now that we've done this customizing, it's probably a good idea to save it as a template so we don't need to repeat these steps and we can then plot into our graph template with similar data. What I'll do is just right click on the graph title and choose Save Template As. In the dialog that opens, it shows me the template name that was used to create this graph. I don't want to overwrite the built-in template, so I'll give it a new name. It's going to be saved into the user defined category, so that's the category I need to look for later. There's a message that's output to the script window telling me where the template was saved. By default, it gets saved to your user files folder. Now that I've saved the template, let me show you how to plot into it. First thing I'll do is open a new book, import some new data, Highlight the Y column, click on the Template Library button, which brings me into the Template Library. I'm looking at my graph templates, my user-defined category, that's why that category was important, and then I see my template. Click Plot to generate the graph. Let's go ahead and tile my two graph windows. What I'm going to do is select my workbooks, Control select right click to hide them and then I want graph 2 on the left so I select that one as my active graph prior to doing 
the tile vertically. This concludes this part of the tutorial. Thank you for watching.